Hey guys, I always feel really awkward like when I'm reaching to turn my camera on and my computer, it's really hard to edit videos so none of my videos are ever edited because of that reason. I don't know how to use like Windows editing so I'm saving up money to get a Mac because I think that's a little easier because a lot of my friends have Macs and it's easy. And I'm just going to stop babbling because I have an issue with that. And this video is going to be my favorite books to read over spring and summer. Um, actually, I read these all the time so it's not really like a dedicated thing but they're probably my favorite books. And a lot of you are probably like, oh my gosh, probably has Twilight Saga in here. But honestly, I have the books. I just have never read them. I don't have, like, the patience to sit down and read a book that's, like, this thick. Like, I don't like Harry Potter because they're so thick. And they're kind of weird to me. Like, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. But those books just are so thick for me. So I just, like, watch the movies. And I'm always, like, after the movies, I'm like, I'm going to read the next Twilight Saga. And I don't ever read it. So... Yeah, I have them though, but I'm just not going to put them in this video because I don't read them. So I have a big stack of books right here, and let me just say first of all, a lot of these books you're probably going to notice that I judge a book by its cover, and I think I've mentioned that in a few other videos that I have a really big problem with that. Like I'm reading a book for school now that I have no interest in whatsoever, and when I don't have an interest in a book, I'm not going to read the book because I'm not interested, and I always judge a book by its cover. If a, if a cover looks good to me, I always think the book is going to be good, and I always read the book. That makes sense. But that's just the way I am. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, because I don't know how long this is going to be. So the first book I have here is The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. I love this book. This book brought me to tears the first time. Like, actually, I've only read it one time. I haven't like read it like three or four times, but I've seen the movie three or four times, and the first time it brought me to tears and I was crying like a baby on the couch and I was like trying to hold it back because like my parents were sitting there and I was like, <sighs> but I couldn't. I had like tears. And the second time I was fine. The third time I was completely okay to watch it. Like I knew it was going to happen. But I love this book. This book is so, oh my gosh, guys. A lot of people say they didn't like it, but I love it. Like I could read this over and over and over again. And I have the thick version, so my version's like really, really big. But I think there's like a smaller one out there. I just got the little one that I can carry on in my purse so it's really easy but I got it my mom got it for 25% off so that's always a good thing like you can go to Target and you can get books for really really cheap and they're like nothing so um basically I just have the version that has Liam Hemsworth and Miley Cyrus in the front they have another cover of this as well but I just have this version because this is the one my mom got me and basically I'm gonna put it this in my little summary she Miley Cyrus plays um the girl that has like Ronnie which is the character in the movie and her real name is Veronica, and she goes by Ronnie. And I absolutely love that. I love that so much. Ronnie, Veronica. Yeah, that's cool. Um, anyways, she goes and she visits her dad for a summer. Actually, she gets she says she gets shipped away to her dad's house, but she kind of goes and visits him in a way. Her and her little brother, and for some reason, I'm forgetting her little brother's name. And I don't know why, because he was the cutest little thing in the world. So I don't remember. If I remember, I will totally, like, link it. Jonah is her little brother's name. There we go. Okay, anyways, she goes to visit her dad, and I kind of think that her dad and the boy that she meets, which is Liam Hemsworth, and he plays, um, I forgot his name, too. I haven't watched this. He plays Will. And, um, basically, she meets Will at the beach, and he kind of, like, dumps something on her. And it's really funny, and I kind of think he changes her along with her dad. Like, she goes through, like, a big change. And you guys will see that if you read the book and watch the movie. So, I love this book. And this book was about $7.99, but it was 25% off. So, it was probably like $6, $5, $4, around there. So, I love this book. I could read this over and over again. The second book is actually a book I'm reading at this moment. And I've had this book for such a long time, I just haven't read it. Like, it came out in like 08 or something. And I started reading it and I stopped. And then I started reading it again. And now I'm reading it now. That didn't even make sense, did it? But anyways, it's called Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. Um, this is another author that I love. The, <laughs> these two are probably like my top favorites. Lauren Conrad is also up there as well. But I love this book. This is about a girl and her sister runs away from home. And she is basically going through her life while her sister is away from home. And her sister and her, the reason it's called Dreamland is because her and her sister used to have this thing. And if you read the book, you'll understand. I just don't want to spoil the book, so. Basically, your sister just runs away from home, and she becomes a cheerleader, and that's the part I'm at right now. So, yeah. Um, I guess I can read whatever is, like, on the back. So, it says, like, right here, her name's Caitlin, so it says, Wake Up, Caitlin. 
And it says, ever since she started going out with Rogers and Bisco, Caitlin seems to have fallen into a semi-conscious dreamland where nothing is quite real. Rogerson is different from anyone Caitlin has ever known. He's magnetic, he's compelling, he's dangerous. Being with him makes Caitlin forget about everything else. Her missing sister, her withdrawn mother, her lackluster life. Lackluster life? That's weird. But whatever happens when being with Rogerson becomes a larger problem than being without him. So, I love this book. It's pretty good so far. The next one is actually a really big book, and this is one that my sister gave me to read, and she said it was a really good book, and I always take her opinions because she reads so much. Her books that she gives me are always, like, really, really good. So, this one is called The Tenth Circle. It looks like this, and it's by Jody Pickle. And I haven't exactly read this book yet. I just put this book in here because, as I said, I do trust my sister's opinion for it to be a good book. So I just thought I'd put this in here. And this is a book that I want to be reading, like I'm going to read. I think I might read it after I read this one. So, yeah. Anyways, um, it's about a 14-year-old named Trixie, and she is in love for the first time. So, yeah, it's about all I'm going to say for this book because it's a really long paragraph in the back. So, yeah. I've never read any of Jody. Pickled, I think that's how you say it, books, but I'm really excited to read this. Okay, this one is actually one that I have read, and this is um, called Homeless Bird. And this actually had a cover to it, but my friend took it off. And um, my friend, I always trust my friend's opinion on books too, because she reads so much. Like, she has, like, floor-to-ceiling books in her room, I swear. And this is one that she let me borrow to read, and I just haven't returned it yet. But I love the cover of it. Like, it's red, and it's like, has, like, um, birds, obviously. Like, birds. And all this stuff is gold. And it's, like, gold. So that's pretty cool. And it's not that long of a book, actually. It's a really easy... <laughs> she put on the inside, she's like, this book belongs to... And then, like, big letters, this book belongs to. So it's not really that long. It's really thin. It took me, like, a week to read. And it's about this girl who gets an arranged marriage. And the words are really big, too, so it's not, like, that hard of a book or anything. So the girl gets an arranged man marriage, and I think she's, like, Indian, I think. I'm not quite sure. I haven't read this for a really long time. It's been a while, but I remember I did love this book. I would sit up in the middle of the night, like, reading it if I couldn't sleep, and it was a really good book. So I recommend if you guys can go pick this up. I'm not quite sure how much it was. Um, I'm guessing it's a little bit more expensive than if you get, like, paperback because it is hardback. So, definitely go pick this up and try it because it's a very good book. The next one is called, oh my gosh, guys, this book is so good. It's not even funny. And it is from my sister as well. Um, and it's called The Year of Fog, and I think it's by Michelle Diamond. I don't know. Yes, it is. No, Michelle Richmond. I couldn't tell because, like, there's a little sticker over it. But anyways, this book is about a little girl who gets kidnapped, and she's with her soon-to-be stepmom, and they're at the beach, and she gets kidnapped. And they don't know who kidnapped this little girl, and they're running around trying to find her, and there's a big twist at the end. So I'm not going to tell you guys the twist, because I'll completely ruin the book. But this book is kind of long as well, and it's more of an adult read instead of like a, you know, teen read. Like, a lot of my books, like Dear John, like, I think that's like a teen read. Or the little, or the Lauren Conrad ones, that's a teen read. Last song. This one's more of an adult book, kind of like The Tenth Circle. And it has more of like the littler words to it. So it takes a little bit longer to read. But this is such a great book. Oh my goodness, guys. I love this book. I couldn't put it down, actually. Okay, the next one is, oh, my sister got this one for $12 at Target. I get all my books at Target. I think my sister does, too. This one is Dear John. Do -do 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 -do. And I have not fully read this book, but I've read half of it. Like, I'm reading it as we speak. And yes, I do read more than one book at a time. Basically, it's about a girl, kind of like the movie. If you've seen the movie, the book's almost exactly like that. And the front of it does have Shannon Tatum on the front. So cute. My sister also gave me this one to read as well. And um, basically, it's about a guy who goes off to the war, and they send letters back and forth, him and the girl he meets. But before he goes off, he ends up back. He lives at home with his dad, and his parents barely have, like, well, it's him and his dad, and his dad barely has any money. They're very, very, very poor, and um, 
his dad collects coins. So that's all I'm going to tell you about this book right now. You guys should go get that. And this one was $13.99, and I'm pretty sure she probably got this one at Target as well because we don't really go to the bookstore. Okay, the next two are actually Lauren Conrad ones, and they're actually the series. I don't know if you guys have read these or not, but this is the first one from the series. And this is L.A. Candy, and I love it. It's very sleek, and it says, like, Conrad L.A. Candy. So this one took me, like, a week to read, and this is just because it's a little bit thick. Not really, but it took me a while to read. And I'm one of those people that can get, like, escaped into a book and not be able to come out. <laughs> so, anyways, it's about two girls that move off to L.A., obviously, L.A. Candy. And they get on this TV show. A producer approaches them and asks them to do a TV show. They come on the TV show, and basically their lives change for good. They start having paparazzi and fans and... They meet these other two girls that are also in the show, and there's just big drama between the one girl and, like, the other girls. So this is a really great book. I think this is about $15 I paid for this at my local bookstore, but I don't know if you can get it cheaper at Target or anything like that. So this is a great book. Okay, the next one is the second book in the series, and I have not finished this book yet. And this is called Sweet Little Lies, and I love the front of it because it has the little candy hearts. This one I paid $9.99 for at my local bookstore. So you can tell like the hardback books are very much more expensive than like the paperback, but this one didn't come in a paperback, so I had to get hardback. Anyways, it's a really great book. Same thing, it's just the second one in the series. More drama, more, you know, stuff like that. Um, basically, I think it's kind of modeled around the show The Hills. If you look at it that way, like, the two girls in here are almost exactly like Heidi and Lauren when they first started The Hills. So, yeah, kind of like that. That's the way I took it. And the last one is not more of, like, a chapter book. It's more of just, like, a fun, you know, book to read. And this is the Lauren Conrad style. I love this book. I got this book for Christmas. And my sister said she ordered it offline, and she paid, like, $19.99 for it. A little sticker on the back but I don't know if that's exactly what she paid or what I don't know but basically it just has a bunch of chapters about hair and makeup and clothes and you know figuring out like your key essentials for your closet and jewelry and organizing your closet so it's just so much fun to read I read this in like a day like the entire book in like a day so that is pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if I get any more books for the summer slash spring I definitely will update you guys and show you guys and make sure you know I tell you so I hope you liked this video and I'll talk to you later bye everyone